Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. This month we're launching a new series and we're gonna focus on popular Korean games. And I thought what better way than to start the series than focus on one of the most popular Korean children game of all times, Kongi or Jack Stones or Korean Jacks if you will. Now the origin of Jax is not well known. All we do know is that the original name of the game was called Knuckle Bones because the originating pieces for the game were the knuckle bones of sheep. Now, Kongi was a Korean game that dates back hundreds of years, and the original pieces were pebbles. But today, we don't use stones or pebbles. We actually use small colored pieces of plastic that are weighted to represent the pebbles. Now, this game is incredibly easy to learn, but as an elderly person like myself, I suck at it. So let's take a look at the rules. Kongi is played with five pieces, and they're placed on the playing surface like so. During the first round of play, the player chooses one piece, and this is what is thrown in the air. As they do that, they need to pick up one piece from the playing surface like this. All right, that is the first step. Once they have all five in their hand, they place them back on the playing surface. They choose one, they throw it up in the air, but this time they have to choose two in round two. And again, up in the air, and they get that. Round three is just the same. You throw them all down on the playing surface. You take one, throw it up in the air, capture three, and then throw one up in the air, get the last one. Round four is a little bit different. You throw one up in the air, lay four on the ground, catch this one, throw it up again, grab the four off the playing surface, so you have all five in your hand. The fifth round is the most difficult. All five are launched in the air, captured on the back of the player's hand. They're thrown back up in the air again and caught. The number of pieces that you catch is how many points you score. Now this is the only time that you actually score points in the game, which makes it quite difficult. If you're able to capture all five, you cycle through the process again, starting with level one. Those are the basic rules of the game, and play continues until a player misses a stone or commits a foul. And no matter how many times I play with these things, I just never quite get the hang of it. But if you would like to learn how to play, click the link in the description box and surf on over to the Korea blog, the official blog of the Korean government where you can get the entire rule set. But what I would like to know, have you ever played Kongi? Or what is your favorite childhood game? Please leave a comment down below. Until next time, Remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.